you're looking at the beginning of the Thwaites Glacier. This is as far as a ship has ever made it to this glacier. It's nicknamed the Doomsday Glacier, and it's not easy to get to. About 40 international scientists are aboard a South Korean vessel battling thick sea ice on a trip that took two years of planning. One of those is David Holland, a graduate of Memorial University, but who now works as a climate scientist in New York. He and his colleagues have one objective for this mission. Drill through about a kilometer of ice with hot water and put in a long fiber optic cable, much like an Ethernet cable you'd see in your office. These cables have the property, if you fire a laser through it, it bounces back and you can measure the temperature everywhere in the glacier, everywhere in the ocean, to one meter horizontal vertical resolution. The Thwaites Glacier is about the size of the state of Florida and is Antarctica's fastest melting glacier. Holland says getting the cable into the ice would act like a weather station, which would help forecast what the future holds for sea levels. But to do that, we need a math equation for the glacier, one for the ocean, and one for the atmosphere. We need to bring these three things together. And that's never really been done. So there is no forecast of what happens to this glacier. There is no forecast to tell you what will be the sea level on the south coast of Newfoundland in a decade or century. A month or so ago on the Korean icebreaker, we tried to cut through the sea ice, which was very heavy this year. We tried for a few days and we could not make it to Thwaites Glacier. Four years ago, they tried and failed. This is the closest that they've gotten and they've run into trouble again. The objective we have is to use helicopters to go from this ship to a camp which is about 30 kilometers south of us over the horizon there. And at the moment, um, we've been struggling with weather and now we're struggling with one of our two helicopters is broken at the moment. And time is running out, both for their mission and the health of the Doomsday Glacier. This place behind me is dropping about, uh, it's melting at the bottom about 100 meters a year, which is totally unsustainable and new warm waters arrived here not so long ago. Not great news for people in this province, with Holland suggesting a collapse of the glacier would add more than three meters to the current sea level. Jeremy Eaton, CBC News, St. John's.